you've recorded a Zoom meeting, but that recording is not showing up, nor is it converting itself into an audio or video file. That can be really scary. In this video, you'll learn how to find your Zoom recordings, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up y'all? This is Brian White and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we help you create videos that get results. And sometimes that includes doing it on Zoom. So if that's the kind of stuff that you're into, please consider clicking that subscribe button now. All right, so yes, Zoom provides you the ability to record your meetings so you can then repurpose them into other webinars or content or just record them for your own purpose. But I've had some of my viewers reaching out to me asking me, where in the heck is my recording? And so that is why I'm making this video for you. Yeah, you, uh, over there, yeah. Then I'll share some tips to help you troubleshoot your situation based on the comments of my viewers. Now, in order for you to fully understand where Zoom recordings are stored, I'm first going to talk to you about how to enable those Zoom recordings in the first place. All right, so Zoom provides you two options for recording, local recording and cloud recording. Now, with local recording, it saves your recordings to your desktop or laptop, and local recording is also available to free users as well as paid accounts. Now, cloud recording saves recordings to Zoom's cloud service, and cloud recording is only available for paid accounts. Now, to enable local recording, log into your Zoom's web portal. This is the Zoom website, so go ahead and log into your account, and assuming you have admin privileges, meaning it's your account and you're not just a participant. You want to click into My Account, then Account Settings, and navigate to the Recording tab. Now, depending on what type of account you have, free or paid, this page will look different. To turn on local recording, simply click this button here to turn it from gray to blue. You'll also have the option to give participants the option to record locally. I personally like to control who and what is being recorded, especially if it's for a training that I may later sell or provide as valued content. So scroll down a tad and you'll also want to consider turning on the automatic recording option which will automatically start re local recording of all your meetings. I also like to have the recording notifications option turned on, which provides a voice prompt alerting participants that the meeting is being recorded. Now, should you have a paid account, you'll also be given the option to enable cloud recording. Each Zoom license is given up to one gigabyte of cloud storage. So inside your account settings and to the recording tab, simply click this bubble to initiate cloud recording. Now, with paid accounts, you're able to have both local and cloud recording options selected. Below the cloud recording option, there are a plethora of other features to customize your cloud recording experience. Feel free to tinker with these accordingly. Additionally, you'll now have the option to automatically record using either your local computer or recording in the cloud. You can only select one of those options for automatic recording. Now, automatic recording can be helpful because sometimes you forget to turn on that recording button inside the meeting. Now that you've enabled recording in Zoom's web portal, you'll want to jump into the Zoom desktop client application. Go ahead and start that up and then click into the settings window here, then into the recording tab. Here, you'll be able to select the location where the local Zoom recordings will be stored. So go ahead and select that location. I recommend creating a folder in your documents or wherever you store files, a folder dedicated for Zoom recordings only. Now, by default, local recordings will be placed in the directories listed on the screen now, and it depends on what type of machine you're using. At this time, local recording is not supported on iOS and Android devices. Also on this screen, you'll also have a few more options to customize your recording experience feel free to tinker with these accordingly. I do recommend selecting this one to optimize for third-party video editor, which formats the video into a standard widescreen canvas, which will natively import into a video editor. Now doing this will increase the file size as well as the processing time for those clips. I also like to have this one checked to record video during screen sharing, so it's capturing everything being displayed during the meeting. 
Now, should you have updated any of these settings during this demonstration, you're going to want to go ahead and quit your Zoom and restart the application. That way, the new settings will take place upon launch. All right, now let's jump inside an actual Zoom meeting. Once inside, let's click down here on the record button and select to either record onto this computer or record to the cloud. You'll know you're recording when you see the recording icon in the upper left corner, pulsating like record buttons do. And if you selected the recording notifications, you'll hear that voice prompt. Recording in progress. Now, with your meeting recording, you'll have the option to pause the recording by clicking pause either up here in the corner or down here in the toolbar. This will pause the recording, recording stopped, allowing you to resume recording at a later time in the meeting. Let's click that play button to resume recording. Now, let's click on stop recording. If you're recording locally, the recording will stop. And once you stop recording, you may see this notification pop up telling you that the recording will be converted once the meeting ends. If recording on the cloud, you'll be prompted to confirm to stop recording. Once you have stopped recording, Zoom will wrap that recording up into its own recorded file. If you wish to record again, click on record and select your preference to begin recording. Then clicking stop once more will create a new recorded clip. Now, in order to actually process these recorded clips, you'll need to end the meeting for all. Now, upon ending the meeting, if recording locally, the folder where the file is being stored will open up on your desktop. If you're recording to the cloud, upon ending your meeting, you'll see a window notification showing your video processing. Once Zoom has finished processing the cloud recording, you'll be sent an email with a link to download your cloud recording. So keep in mind, if you start and stop a recording during a meeting, then start a new recording and stop it, you'll end up with two separate files pertaining to each of those recordings. If you recorded locally, you'll be able to access those files on your computer inside the folder you selected from the steps earlier. If you recorded to the cloud, you'll be able to access those files on Zoom's web portal. So back into the web portal, simply click on My Account, then click over here on the Recordings tab. Then under Cloud Recordings, you'll be able to access those recordings. Additionally, you'll be able to access the local recordings within this tab up here. But keep in mind, you'll only be able to access local recordings from this page on the actual computer they were recorded to. You can access your recorded files inside the Zoom desktop client application. From the home screen, click up top on Meetings, then on to Recorded. This will list out all of your recordings. If you recorded locally, you'll have several options to interact with your recording. If you recorded to the cloud, you'll only have the option to open the recording, which will launch a browser window with your recording inside. Now that you know where your recordings are located, I'm going to share a couple tips with you to help you troubleshoot should you not be able to find them after following the steps listed previously. Tip number one, again, local recording is not available on iOS and Android devices. Number two, recordings are only processed after the meeting ends. Number three, You've ended a meeting, but haven't seen your recording appear yet. This can be due to a few factors. Perhaps the length of your meeting spanned an hour or more. The recording could still be processing, in which case you'll just have to wait. Number four. If a recording hasn't been converted yet, go into your Zoom desktop client application, click on Meetings, then on to Recorded. Locate your meeting, and if you see a button for Convert, Click that button to begin converting it into a file. Number five, should you have automatic recording enabled, you must start the meeting from a desktop client application. Automatic recordings will not initiate from mobile devices. Number six, if you were the host but not the account admin, the admin may have disabled the ability for meeting hosts to access their cloud recordings. If this is the case, please check with your administrator. Number seven, if you're still unable to locate Zoom recordings, check with your administrator to ensure they don't have the auto delete recordings option turned on. Number eight, if the meeting unexpectedly shuts down or if the conversion process is interrupted, the recording files could become corrupted and non-recoverable. Restarting or shutting down your computer, 
putting the hard disk to sleep, or closing your laptop will interrupt the conversion process. Number 9. This one is not directly related to locating recordings. However, Zoom video recordings are known to be out of sync, typically by 6 frames or so. Should you want to properly sync them together, I recommend hiring a video editor to manually sync them up. Number 10. Should you want to streamline your Zoom recordings, I recommend exploring Zoom apps which will help you store, organize, search, and gain insight from your saved Zoom recordings, such as automatically saving recordings to Google Drive and more. And if you haven't already downloaded my Zoom video guide, please do so in the show notes below. This guide is a resource to help you get the most out of Zoom video. And should you want to take your Zoom experience to the next level, I suggest clicking on one of the videos up here to do just that. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, helping you create videos that get results.